We are here with the newlyweds, Ray and Debbie Wheeler. Debbie, are you using the Wheeler name? I am. I, I still for a slip up and say it's Debbie Jaramillo. It's, it's but it's Debbie Wheeler now. Debbie. Or Debbie Jaramillo hyphen Wheeler. No, no, no hyphen. So no. Debbie Wheeler. It is Debbie Wheeler. It's much that has, easier to say. Yes, and it has a very nice <laughs> ring. Oh, oh, speaking of rings, can we see your rings? Ours is prettier than mine. It should be. That <laughs> it one. should be though, right? Okay, so we are sitting in your new restaurant, which hasn't opened yet. It's called Haven at 2502 Algerian Way in Houston. Today is December 5th, and you say you hope to open maybe in a little over a week, right? Yes, we hope to. Yes. How exciting! The boys are in the back getting ready to start um, baking. Okay. And Randy Evans, your executive chef and partner, said he got his first food delivery today. Yes. yes. How exciting. Now, Ray, we were talking a little bit about earlier um, about how the name Haven came about. Interesting story. Uh, we were all trying to come up with names and uh, we gave everybody an opportunity to chip in and we got a lot of names and um, nothing seemed to quite uh, be right. And so I sat down one day after months and months and months of trying to pick names and asking all my friends names and I started thinking, well, what, what is it we really want to accomplish and how can we describe what our concept is? And, and Haven to me is like a place of comfort, a place of rest, a place you can go that you know you're going to get the best of good food and the best of good service and yet a laid back atmosphere. Uh, if you look outside, we've got a nice quiet street right off the beaten path of 59 and Kirby. It's a very, very active part of town, but yet we're kind of like in a little niche under the trees here. And uh, I think that it, what Jim Hurd has done with the design kind of helped us decide that Haven is really what we were going for here. And, I think we've got Ray's Haven or, or your Haven or Cleverly's Haven or whatever <laughs> whatever people want to call it. it. Our goal is to make it a place at the end of the day after a hard work to come uh, to know where you can relax and depend on the very best of service, the very best of food and just relax and kick back and have your own little haven and that's, that's our goal and, and we've got the name and we've got the environment and we've got I think one of the top chefs and uh, we're, we're committed to the best service that we can possibly put together, uh, and we're excited. It's been over a year in the coming, closer to two years, I mm -hmm. guess. And we're uh, Debbie and I are very excited to have Randy Evans, and and our, our new general manager is going to be uh, Brad Davis. Brian Davis. I keep calling him Brad. I, I, there is a Brad Davis. I think he's an actor. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Brian, actually, and, and then Randy's uh, very close friend, uh, Catherine, is going to be uh, uh, working with uh, with Brian and to kind of put together. She's going to be daytime manager, and Brian's going to be the general manager, mostly at, here at night. And uh, we've got a fantastic team, and everybody uh, is pulling together and working together. We have a common goal, and we just want to have a great place people can come to, get great food, great service, and feel comfortable and relaxed. And I think we're accomplishing that. I think so too. We were, you know, the, just sitting here before we started shooting this video, and I'm amazed at how peaceful it is here. And we are just one block off of 59, off of and it's totally blissful. It's almost like a park. Yes. Patterns, yeah. Patios would be great because it would seat 80. Climate control, heat and, and misting. Heat and heat cool air and a fireplace and a fountain and it's it's a cool it's a covered everything. patio with a real high ceiling so you won't feel, feel like trapped. Mm -hmm. It's a, a very open patio and uh, Jim Hart has just done a tremendous job uh, designing this place and building it. We're just uh, uh, very very pleased and then Ralph Smith's doing our food for our photography for us. And oh, he's great, isn't he? he? We're just we've got yeah. such a great group of people all pulling together and working together here and I think the city and the, the whole area is really gonna uh, kind of put their arms around this place and, and uh, kind of make it what, what we want it to be. Kind mm -hmm. of a cross between cheers and whatever <laughs> kind of high-end or casual fine dining place that, that, that you enjoy. I think we we're, we're pretty close to accomplishing that, and hopefully, uh, within the next week or so, we'll be having soft openings and and uh, be able to get uh, open in time to 
make sure that everybody has an opportunity to get here. We're, we're doing gift certificates already because we have so many people calling saying, we want a gift certificate. We want to be able to give one to our friends for Christmas. Oh, so that's great. We're designing gift certificates now that will be temporary until we can get the actual mm -hmm. um, credit card type gift mm -hmm. cards. But we're there goes excited. Randy Evans in the background. There's there's the man. Oh, yeah. That was Randy. <laughs> yeah. So we Randy's got a great uh, sous chef. Uh, Kevin is uh, uh, and Randy have worked together for years. So it's a team. You yeah. Know, we, we brought together a good team here. Kito is just here from Animal Farm. And she's going to bring over some fresh whatever's growing right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you all have been in and around Houston's food scene for quite a while, so you really do know the best people to assemble for a team, and you know the best purveyors. I mean, all the way from, from the architect down to the bus boys, you guys know the best in Houston. And so I am very excited to see when this all comes together and opens, because this really will be the creme de la creme, I think. Well, we certainly appreciate that. And not only have Debbie and I been diners in the Houston scene for, for many years, we've also been blessed with the opportunity to travel around, not just the United States, but but the, pretty much the world. And, and we our, our life is built around food and wine and culinary. And, and we just kind of, I think I've learned a lot over the years about what uh, people expect and would like to have. And we've kind of put all that together. And, Hopefully, we're getting close to our, our dream come true when we get open in Haven. So, yeah, and I wanted to ask Debbie because I know you guys are world travelers, and you have you have a more refined, more developed taste level when it comes to what is good in a restaurant and what is not good in a restaurant. So, Debbie, what were some things or just one thing that you absolutely needed to have in the restaurant? Wow. A feature. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's an easy one. Definitely. Bois and champagne. Just, just fresh. Fresh. But fresh. what was an element, you know, a design element that you really felt strongly about? The windows, the views. Mm -hmm. um, okay, let's take a look. The high ceilings. Yes. The, the tables that don't wobble. I mean, the mm -hmm. furniture, everything. You know, it, uh, the, the, you know, the details are so important. And we've, we've tried to pay attention to the detail. and and make sure that we're blessed to have Chef Randy Evans come in and take care of the food for us. And we're not at all concerned about the quality of the food. We wanted to give him a blank canvas. And not only did he design the kitchen from scratch, and uh, we, you know, we gave him, we believe, a dining area and an environment that, that people will be able to come and enjoy the food, the lighting, the, lighting. the details. to have the spotlight on your head, so we try to do the lighting. Mm -hmm. The air conditioning, we've got these socks, these duck socks that distribute the air evenly so you don't have one vent just blowing on you. We've engineered the sound to make it uh, as comfortable as we can uh, so you can enjoy talking to each other. So hopefully everything will come together and, and soon when we get the place filled up with our soft openings we'll be able to judge. But we've, we've paid attention to detail here because we think Houston deserves to have continue to have uh, new places that are just kind of on the leading edge and it's a comfortable place it's a haven it and, is uh, and, and that's kind of what we've we've strived for and i think we're gonna we're gonna get it and randy evans is certainly a huge part of that yeah he is you guys make a good team all of you together well houston is anxiously awaiting the opening of haven and then if this works and it's a good experience for you, might there be other? Our goal is to do another and maybe another. And I don't know how many will be casual fine dining. I mean, Randy's got so many dreams. He wants to try everything from hot dogs to burgers <laughs> oh, to, uh, to, yeah, and I kind of, you know, I love Goods Barbecue, so I'm one of my favorite barbecue places, but there's never enough good barbecue yes, around. So I agree. we don't know. We want to continue. We love food and wine and, yeah. and this whole scene, and we're blessed to be part of it in Houston. And isn't it fun? Isn't Houston a great place to do it all? It yeah, is wonderful. And what I love about it is the people that are in the business, the restaurateurs, they're all so friendly. Everybody, Brian Caswell, we ate at his place, Debbie and I, a few nights ago, and Brian came out and said, man, whatever I can do to help you, you know. And, every, and they mean it. People yeah. mean it. Nice. And it's not like a cutthroat competition like many businesses are. Mm -hmm. People understand the more high-end, good restaurants, it's best for everybody. Right. So we all support each other. And that feels good not to have to worry about your competition. I agree. Well, thank you for doing this for Houston. Our pleasure. You guys are great. Come okay. see us often.
I will. The okay. best of luck to you guys. Okay, thank you. Thanks,